hello uh, this video is about using ADS advanced design system from key sites to design a quadrature copula also known as a branch line copula okay so the quadrature copula is a 3 degree directional copula with 90 degrees phase difference between the outputs all right so this is the geometry of a branch line coupler it consists of eight transmission lines okay so each of the transmission lines has electrical length of lambda over four that does each electrical each transmission line is a quarter wavelength transmission line okay so transmission lines one two three four five six have a characteristic impedance of z naught for the purpose of our design we use z naught of 50 ohms okay and also transmission lines a b has a characteristic impedance of z naught divided by root 2 for the purpose of our design to be 50 divided by root 2 which is somewhere about 35.4 yeah about 35.4 okay so this is the geography of a branch line copula so now let's move to the ADS and let's start work okay Okay, this is the workspace for ADS 2016. ADS is a very powerful tool which aids in designing RF and microwave circuits. It's very useful. Okay, all right. So now we know the characteristics, impedance, and the electrical length of each of the transmission lines hence our next step is to determine the width and the length of the respective transmission lines okay ADS has a special tool known as line cow which is used for calculation of the, le the length and the width of these transmission lines so to open line cow you go to tools all right start line cow is loading all right now this is the interface for line car subtract parameters this is where you you enter the parameters of the substrate that you'll be using this is the component parameters the frequency work in the physical the electric the electrical measurements okay the substrate that we'll be using is the r0403 yeah so these are the parameters that have already been inserted there okay We'll be working for a frequency of 2.4 2.4 gigahertz as the frequency for LT frequency for LT okay and um, that's not of 50 electric uh, effective electrical length of 90 which is equivalent to lambda over 4 90 with equivalent to lambda over 4 so we synthesize okay so now since we've determined the the width and the length for the transmission length with characteristic impedance of 50 ohms and electrical length of lambda over 4 now let's place them there now to use the values we had Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, 
now let's calculate the length and the width for yeah already running sorry the length and the width for the ones with the death note of 50 divided by root 2 which is 35.4 so synthesize done okay choose like uh, all right one two please don't get confused with the double m star parameters they are they are all the same they are all the same values okay so i'm joining Control, control R, control R. All right, so this is the schematic for the the quadrature coupler using trans using backward strip lines. Okay, so let's generate the layout. All right, cool. So this is the layout, very similar to the one showed previous. Just that this is a bit thinner. Okay. So let's perform our EM simulation. Okay. So EM simulation. First, let's check if the subscript we're using. This one needed. All right. So, as I said earlier, we are using the R zero three four hundred three. Assuming this wasn't here, you will go to add from database and you select your suitable your suitable dielectric okay so um, right, the conductor you go with the same procedure if one in here you just you can also change the values here okay to correct any more functions in the geometry to make it perfect okay this. okay so now this is the perfect geometry perfect now yes. let's run our simulations okay frequency plan Five number of words. 
Muhammad. As parameters simulate. Okay, so now let's simulate and see if the results obtained matches that of a quadrature coupler. This loading will be done any moment from now. Okay, so as you can see, the process is very, very simple. You can try design it for different frequency bands, different frequencies. You can try. You can also try working on minimizing the area of the coupler. Right. There are many researches that have been done. If you can access these published papers on the net, all right, so that you can know the various techniques in making the coupler, the, in making the mini, miniaturized version of the coupler. Okay, it's done. So let's see the results now. Is the goal of the is the goal of the main goal is for the coupler to have very high insertion loss, a very high insulation, okay? And for the transmission from the input to the output, they should have a loss of 3 dB, okay? And also the phase difference between the output should be 90. So let's verify and see if this is the case here. Okay. One thing to note that the quadrature coupler is highly symmetric. Okay, so meaning S11 is equal to S22, S22 is equal to S33, S33 is equal to S44, S44, S21 is equal to S12. Yeah, you know you you know this from your micro engineering class. Okay. So around 2.4 we have a insertion loss of 21.575 db which is very high okay and from port 1 from port 1 to port 3 we have a loss of 3 db opposite 3 db which is also good so, and this is the isolation between port 1 and port 2. The isolation of 23, almost 24 dB, which is also very high. So, let's cross, cross check with the faces and see if everything is good. Now, with the faces, the phase difference between S13 and S14 should be approximately 90. So, So, 80, 80, so yeah, so, yeah, as you can see, the faces also match the difference is approximately 90 degrees so yeah so we have designed this is the end we have designed a quadrature coupler if you have any questions or you don't understand anything you can comment below or send me an email on osborne o s b o r n e b m 406 at gmail.com okay have a nice day hope to hear from you bye